Hello and welcome to my channel, Exceedingly Good Reviews. This is a My Thoughts on video. My thoughts on AEW Dark from October 6th, 2020. We've got 11 matches to run through. I'll run through uh, all the matches, what occurred on this show, and then I'll give my overall thoughts. So, first match of the night. It's Kenzie Page taking on Brandy Rhodes, the Chief Brandy Officer. Uh, but she forgot to bring out Little Brandy. Where was Little Brandy? You know, you got to get that merchandise plugs in, don't you? Uh, so, yeah, you forgot her. She's got Dustin Rhodes in her corner as well, by the way. You know, he always seems to be in everyone's corner recently. Uh, Brandy ends up hitting a shot of Brandy on uh, Kenzie Page and pinning her to win the match. Uh, it was a relatively quick match. Not a, not, not a bad match. Not a great match either, but not a bad match to start the show. Uh Anna J runs out. Anna J of the Dark Order runs out to attack Brandy after the match, and uh, Red Velvet comes out to make the save. Uh, gets rid of uh, Anna J and chases Anna J off, and Red Velvet and Brandy Rhodes celebrate in the ring uh, afterwards. Uh, good for you two ladies. Could this be a tease? Could this be a setup to a potential uh, reunion? Uh, reunion? A union uh, down the line between these two? Could these two become uh, the new Nightmare Sisters? Uh, if anything happens to um, the bunny, you know, who knows? Uh, anyway, we've got the second match of the night. The second match is Ray Rosas and Eric Watts taking on Jurassic Express, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy with Marco Stunt in their corner. Uh, Ray and Eric actually get a lot more offense in this match than what I anticipated. Everyone gets offense in, but they got more than what I anticipated, considering they're not the, the bigger name tag team uh, in this match. However, that didn't matter. In the end, Jurassic Express uh, get the win, uh, furthering their uh, development in the tag team division. I think they're still within the top five of the AEW tag team rankings, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, so, yeah, good for you, Jurassic Express. I expected you to win, and you did. We get a video package um, highlighting and exploring the history between Chris Jericho and Lufa. They've got a match coming up on AEW Dynamite on Wednesday. Um yeah, it just looks at their history, yeah, the, the the path, their careers together. Uh, they started out, uh, um, you know, um, in the early part of Chris Jericho's career. You know, Luther was there. Luther went on to Japan, had a lot of success. Uh, Chris Jericho had a lot of success in the North American markets with ECW, then WCW, and then uh, WWE, as we know, and obviously the first ever AEW heavyweight champion. Uh, good for him. Uh, Luther hasn't been able to transition back over to the North American market to have uh, the same success that he got over in Japan. Uh, could this be uh, the beginning of his uh, North American career, basically? I, I know he's been over here with AEW for a while. What I mean is, you know, can, can he break out and be, start to become recognised as a, a, a great star, a big star? Um, so, yeah, there's that little tease that we get for the match on Wednesday. The third match of the night is Anthony Bowens uh, teaming with Lee Johnson to take on the Chaos Project, Luther and Serpentico. Uh, didn't realise that uh, Serpentico and Luther, the Chaos Project, are 4-0 and oh in the tag team division. I did not realise that. Uh, they are undefeated. They've got that tag match coming up against Chris Jericho and Jake Hager, like I said, on AEW Dynamite. So um, couldn't they make it... Can, can, can they continue this undefeated streak going forwards? Who knows? Possibly. Maybe. Uh, here, they win tonight. So Pentacle makes a mess of the ring with those streamers. I don't know why he's allowed to bring those streamers to the ring. Uh, but yeah, Chaos Project end up uh, getting the win. So Pentacle pins uh, Anthony Bowens uh, after a double team manoeuvre. And yeah, good for you. Uh, Chaos Project, keep that momentum going. That was your th third match of the night. The fourth match of the night, it's Will Hobbs. The powerhouse, Will Hobbs, taking on Rising. Rising finally getting a singles match. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times now on AEW Dark. Uh, they've always been uh, tag team matches. He's always been with a tag team partner. This is his uh, singles uh, chance, chance as a singles superstar. Uh, taking on Will Hobbs. Unlucky Rising. Of all the people to come up against, Will Hobbs. Uh, the power, the pure willpower that Will Hobbs has... You were never getting past it. Will Hobbs picks up the victory here. Rising does get some offense in, but it's all about Will Hobbs right now for AEW. So Will Hobbs with the win. Eddie Kingston uh, cutting a little uh, promo uh, about the uh, Joey Janela Sonny Kiss match later on with the Lucha Bros. He doesn't like Sonny Kiss and uh, Joey Janela, and the Lucha Bros are going to end up uh, taking care of business for him. Okay, we will see. Fifth match of the night. 
John Silver, number four of the Dark Order. John Silver taking on QT Marshall of the Nightmare Family. Hmm. Dustin Rhodes, once again, in someone's corner. <laughs> Dustin Rhodes accompanying out uh, QT Marshall. Uh, yeah. Evil Uno is in the corner of uh, number four. Evil Uno and Dustin Rhodes end up into a, a brawl, into a fight uh, outside of the ring. This uh, takes the attention of the referee away, distracts the referee. Uh, so number five and number ten of the Dark Order can interfere. QT Marshall uh, disposes of both of them, but that opens the door then. Uh, that distraction has allowed John Silver to hit a manoeuvre and pin QT Marshall uh, for the victory. QT uh, Marshall was pinned. Good for you, John number four Silver. Uh, Dark Order with the win. Dark Order. Uh, sixth match of the night, Cesar Benoni teaming with David Ali, uh, taking on Griff Garrison and um, Brian Pillman Jr. I did not realise, once again, Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison have not won a match as a tag team. That changes here, however. They win this match. Cesar Benoni, once again, looks like a complete monster. Uh, great showing from Cesar Benoni, and uh, I can't wait to see them transition him to a single star. I think you could get quite a, quite a bit of mileage out of this guy. Um, but yeah, uh, ultimately, uh, even though everyone gets a little bit of offense in, it's uh, Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison with their first victory as a tag team. Good for you. Uh, things can only look up for you guys. Uh, continue your uh, upward trend, please, because uh, I like these uh, two. I like them as singles, especially Brian Pillman Jr., but um, yeah, uh, give them a push as a tag team. It's just a shame there's only one tag team title for these teams to all compete for. Because so many tag teams, great tag teams in AEW. It's such a shame there's only one uh, set of belts for them to go for. Yes, okay. Seventh match of the night. It's Skylar Moore taking on Big Swall. This match, it was the... Uh, I do apologise. My uh, interest, my attention started to wane on this match. Uh uh, nothing against these two uh, ladies, these two competitors. Big Swall ended up winning the match, and uh, congratulations to her. But uh, yeah, the match on a whole, I, it, it just started. I just started to drift off a little bit with this one. It, it not, it's no offense to these ladies, but I mean, this was the seventh match of the night. Yes, it's only a, an hour and a half show, but uh, yeah, I, I lost interest here, and I do apologize. I don't really have much to say other than that Big Swall won. Good for her. Eighth match of the night. My attention was piqued once again. Matt Seidel. Cuts a little uh, package before this match. Matt Seidel is taking on Michael Naka. 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 Zawa. Michael Naka. Zawa. Uh, because he blames him for his slip at the, in the Casino Battle Royal at All Out. Uh, apparently, Michael Naka. Zawa had oiled up the uh, top turnbuckle, the top rope, uh, which Matt Seidel slipped off and almost broke his neck, apparently. Um so uh, he almost ended his life, his career and everything. So he's blaming Michael Nakazawa and this is his chance for payback. So, eighth match of the night, Matt Seidel against Michael Nakazawa. Nakazawa comes out, holds up the turnbuckle. Never learns. Matt Seidel comes out, the two have a little match. When Matt Seidel's going to go to the top rope, he notices the oil. Goes to get a towel, wipes it all down. Great, goes up to the top rope. Michael Nakazawa... Has squirty baby oil now. He squirts some baby oil uh, at Matt Seidel, so he, he slips off and falls off. Uh, Michael Nakazawa then impressively takes off his thong uh, and uses it as a weapon, uh, shoving it in Matt Seidel's face. But Matt Seidel ends up countering, uh, reversing it into a submission and making Michael Nakazawa tap. Matt Seidel has his payback, has his revenge. Good for you. Good win here for Matt Seidel. Uh, Ninth match of the night, M. Badu comes out and he's facing Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston is a mean man, a mean, mean man. Very impressive individual as well in the ring. Uh, he's vicious, he's brutal, he's physical, and yeah, he makes quick work of M. Badu. Uh, Eddie Kingston, with the win here, he hits, he, he locks in the Kimura lock and uh, gets M. Badu to submit. Good for you, Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston gets a mic and cuts a promo afterwards, uh, stating that, you know, he's never lost to John Moxley. He's never tapped. He, he, he's never... Uh, submitted and he's never been pinned by uh, John Moxley so uh, yeah he wants another shot at John Moxley and I'm guessing it's for the AEW heavyweight title he calls out John Moxley but John Moxley the AEW heavyweight champion he's not going to waste his time with coming to AEW dark he's got more important things like uh, preparing for any uh, eventualities that may occur on AEW Dynamite so yeah that was that we get our 10th match in the night 10th match is Sean Dean Versus Angelico. Angelico with uh, Jack Evans in his corner. 
Uh, Angelico here uh, looks very impressive, very inventive, very athletic, very flexible. Uh, locks in a, uh, an impressive submission where he's shoving the fingers. Uh, he, he locks in an opponent and then starts to shove his fingers into the base of the neck, the top of the chest, that little dip that you've got there. That made me cringe. That was quite ooh, quite a ooh, moment for me. Yeah, it made me yeah, shiver a little bit. It's like didn't like to see it, but it was quite inventive. Even Taz says uh, on commentary that he's never seen a maneuver like that. Uh, it's not an illegal maneuver because he's not on the throat of uh, of uh, Sean Dean. He's he, he's below the throat, so um, it really it should be a legal move. And Helico does end up getting the submission victory. He locks in a submission lock on. Uh, Sean Dean and gets him to tap. So Angelico ends up winning this match. Good for you. Uh, final match of the night, the 11th match of the night, the main event. It's Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss taking on the Lucha Bros with Eddie Kingston in their corner. Uh, Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss come out red hot in this one, uh, go straight after the Lucha Bros. Um, the tables turn on them. Uh, there's uh, back and forth offense. Everyone gets a little bit of offense here and offense there and whatnot. Uh, the finish comes when they set up uh, Joey Janela for the assisted power driver. Power drive him and Penta pins Joey Janela to win the match. Um, yeah, so good for them. More momentum for them. Overall, my thoughts on this show, it was um, uh, a decent show. It wasn't great, uh, but it wasn't poor. I wouldn't say it was poor. 11 matches, just over an hour and a half to show. Um, it's not a bad running time, uh, 11 matches. Uh, it's pure wrestling on this show, which I do enjoy. Uh, what I would say is, is that it's a shame... Uh, that, like I said earlier in this video, that there's only one set of tag team titles for these uh, teams to go for because uh, there's so many great teams. You've got the Jurassic Express. Where are they? they where's their opportunity? The Lucha Bros, they've been nowhere near the AEW tag team titles for a while now. Yeah, You've got Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. picking up their first victory. Hopefully that builds momentum for them and they can build on that. Uh, Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss, I really like these two as a tag team. Uh, they've, just, they've just got matching gear with the leopard print uh, styling on it. So, you know, let's see a, a bit more momentum for them uh, build and um, let's see them pick up a few victories and get into that picture. There's just so many great tag teams. This show on a whole was great. Uh, great uh, portrayal of uh, the tag team division. It's just like I said, it's just a shame there's only the one set of tag team titles for them to go for. So overall, like I said, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a good show. It wasn't uh, a poor show. It was a decent show. We'll call it a decent show. It was in the middle. My star match of the night, it's got to be the main event. Uh, Sonny Kiss and Joey Janela taking on the Lucha Bros. These two fantastic tag teams. So athletic, so inventive. Uh, I, I really like these. But there was, there was a few other matches that came close. The Angelico-Sean uh, Dean match, that was a, a, a close one. Uh, the Cesar Bononi-David uh, uh, Ali taking on Griff Garrison. And Brian Pillman Jr., that was a close call as well. Uh, so, yeah, overall, it was a decent show. What I would, I just want to throw in a little thought here, one of my thoughts into this video. What if AEW created an AEW Dark Championship? What if they created an AEW Dark Championship? It's a, a, a championship that is defended all the time on AEW Dark. It can be defended on pay-per-view and on Dynamite if needed. But it's like a, a, a like a television title where the television championship normally is defended every week from week. I know the TNT championship isn't currently uh, being defended at, uh, every t every day uh, every uh, TV showing. It was under Cody Rhodes. He was always issuing an open challenge, wasn't he? But um, yeah, an AEW Dark Championship something for a lot of these lower card uh, and mid card uh, competitors to compete for. Uh, like I said, Cesar Bononi here was very impressive. Will Hobbs, uh, you could clearly see the AEW are behind him, uh, building him up. Uh, you've got Lufa and Serpentico, the Chaos Project, undefeated as a tag team. You know, either one of them, uh, Matt Seidel and Michael Nakazaki. You've got so many great uh, individuals uh, competing on this show. Uh, give them something to compete for. Uh, I have uh, seen a video where someone was complaining that maybe AEW already has too many championships with the introduction of the FTW world title. Uh, you've got the TNT title, the AEW heavyweight title, the tag titles and the women's title. Uh, but yeah, I, I think giving them something to compete for here on AEW Dark, an AEW uh, world championship, an AEW championship, AEW Dark championship, sorry, my apologies, AEW Dark championship for these uh, individuals to compete for and have that main event the show. Um, yeah, that, th those are my thoughts on this show. Like I said, my star match was the main event. It was a decent match, uh, well worth a watch, well worth watching this show for. Uh, there is uh, moments during the show uh, that peak and some that uh, go on a bit of a lull, but... Overall, it was a decent show. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this show.
What are your thoughts on this show? Let me know in the comments. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if there's any other shows that you want me to review. Any other shows that you would like me to give you my thoughts on. Any past or present uh, pay-per-views. Uh, any past or present TV shows, any anything, any other organisations, wrestling organisations that you would like to see me uh, give my thoughts on, let me know in the comments. And yeah, like I said, hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay classy.